15th of January, we are discussing, we are in, basically we are in the middle of the compiler construction course. We have just crossed the middle portion, so we have to be right now very much focused. Uh, it is one of the most interesting uh, computer science subjects. Uh, the reason is that it is highly, uh, it is a very young science. Computer science is hardly evolved around 19, from 1937, Alan Turing paper, I, I, I thought, and then the main development still going on. A lot of algorithms are still being developed, even the sorting algorithms are coming up and even the bottom up parser, we don't know another 5 or 6 years, maybe another parser will be there because taking off the uh, GPUs and all. And what is the compiler strength is that because there are so many new languages coming like uh, Python. Python is not new, but anyway, various newer version of Python, Kotlin, which is developed in 2011. Every every new language is here as its compiler and the new language can handle much greater functionality and the processors are also day by day changing now nowadays in our time it will be single core processor nowadays um, eight cores and 12 cores are common in your mobile phone have eight cores camera in desktop maybe another hundred another one or two years hundred cores will come so the compiler has to be very functional so it takes the language and put it to this course, map to a course, so it is a, a, a very challenge, intellectual challenge will be. So anyway, the one great thing about the parsing algorithms in the uh, top down parsing, whatever you find the top down parsing, the top down parsing, so even if allow the parser to go back and change his decision, that is the back and forth or parser that is uh, you call the you, you trial and error type of parser so that is absolutely no no in uh, in all parsing because that will first to show you that for uh, this backtracking parser mode you know, the top down is the easiest to understand because you start from S, you try to fire the rules and if it's matched the rule is fine otherwise you go back and try another options the problem is the backtracking takes too much amount of time and space but you have to save the uh, already thinks this thing. So, then we go for top down uh, LL1 parsing, the top, uh, recursive descent LL1. LL1, the restriction is there, there will be no ref recursion. So, you know, no ref recursion should be there. So, a symbol start with the left hand, uh, cannot immediately start with on the right hand. So, ref recursion is absolutely no no because it can go to infinite loop. Then there are other restriction comes like. Uh, every uh, rules uh, with the variables on the other side of the rule, every rule should come with a different terminal. You know, uh, if A goes to alpha, beta, then uh, first of alpha, first of beta, uh, their uh, term, the intersection should be null. And if particular variable goes to uh, null, uh, epsilon, then uh, first of that and follow of it also to intersection should be also shy. So these are the rules. So for the top down parser, LL1 parser will be guaranteed. Then you have to, you know that left recursion has to be removed, uh, left factoring has to be done to remove left recursion. And then also it is not guaranteed that is a LL1. Until and unless you all these rules and uh, acid test is if you go for the parsing table, that every table uh, left hand side should be a variable and top side will be, will be your, will be your uh, terminals and uh, all entries should be a one and one only entry then you say yes it is LL1 uh, very good but here you see it uh, in the top down parser the input the string should come from here and initially stack should contain S initially stack will contain S S should match with the first entry so that if you get the uh, what the parsing program will do uh, you see it, the, the your uh, parsing table that you have done. That is the initial entry S, but in bottom of parser, the, there will be blank. There will be no, uh, in stack should be there, but S should be at the last step of the S. So, bottom of parser that will reverse. So, it will trace back S at the end of the operation and uh, and there is there will be called concept called handle. We will come to this. Handle will be always at the top of the stack. Handle is a definition is quite uh, difficult handle uh, no not every strings uh, possible cannot be a handle say if you have a uh, if you have a strings here if any of the strings matches uh, one left hand variable it cannot be handled we will come to what is handle but the the stack is is used here but not all here in top down parsing everybody has to come uh, to for 
top of the stack and uh, do it. So, but in uh, bottom of parsing, the last point would be S and they are also uh, uh, pushing to the stack state. So, it's a bit complicated in bottom of parsing. It is not only the, not first of all, not all terminals will go into it and there will be stack state will be there and there will be a, this is, there is this action, the action can be uh, either shift, the handle should shift or whenever you get a handle we reduce to a variable, uh, shift and reduce and another is uh, accept, say, at the end of the thing accept or reject. So, so initially it will go for shift and reduce, shift and reduce. Uh, then one typical question came that is there any option between shift and reduce? Yes, a, whether you go for shift or the reduce, there is a contact can come and we will go for, we will go for the table, but there is no confusion says shift, shift. So, shift and shift there can be confusion, only shift. Shift and reduce can be confusion, reduce, reduce can be confusion because you have uh, with the, this same handle, you can go to two reduce functions. So, which reduce or shift? So, reduce, reduce conflict can be there and these are, uh, has been effectively tackled by LALR parsing. LR1 definitely, but LALR, LALR can do everything uh, else than LR1, good, it, uh, but it is a smaller table size. And uh, SLR1 is a simpler, so it misses something. So, we will go to this, but uh, initially you should some idea that uh, these are the action and go to, these are the states and uh, they are all the stack and state is, is in the stack. So, okay. Any question you can always tell me. See, just we, whatever thing we have done, the bottom up parsing is method is called, yes, that is a reason I, shift reduce parsing. It is always uh, take the input and always you see the string, it will say it is not take from the right hand side. You might have some impression that, uh, no, it will always from the left hand side, but the rightmost rule to get it. That is the leftmost, uh, we, we always take the left side. So, shift reduce parsing. So, we try to uh, reduction, shift and reduction and we will go to the, come to the, if last point we should end the S. Like in top down parsing, we start from S and try to find the input from the input first, uh, first terminal S, try to match the rule to go for elaboration. Here it is a reverse, S should come last. So, backtracking is always uh, we try to avoid because we want that there will be no backtracking all our next parsing say LL1 parsing or LL1 parsing no backtracking is a deterministic no uh, like non-determinism should be there because if whenever you see the non-determinism it is ideal for theoretical because it is hardly practical and you uh, do realize the non-determinism. So, have to be deterministic like deterministic final state machine is always have to be deterministic. So, we have to go pinpoint. So, uh, here we have already more or less covered the predictive parsing and the LL1 parsing. LL1 parsing is very important. Uh, you might ask why not LL2 because LL1 is enough and LL0 is no use at all because we have to look at least one. So, there is no such uh, going for this LL0, LL1 and LL1 would be compared with LR1. So, one look ahead. Always one look ahead is good enough. So, uh, bottom up parsing, the, we mainly focus on the shift reduce parsing and, and LR parsing. So, uh, both are basically algorithm is same, uh, the tables are the different. So, here the answer is shift reduce parsing. Yeah, which of the following kings is used by LR parser? Right most in river. This, please remember this language. And one of the great computer scientists who has invented it, he is uh, uh, Donald Luth. He has uh, he is one of the great computer scientists. In the, he developed the LR parsing. In the, I think in I think in 1960s. Yeah, yeah. There is a very difficult. This table entries. I have already told in my last class. There may be uh, say if you have a programming language say with 100 lines and uh, rules may be say another 200 lines uh, of rules uh, and your uh, LR1 parsing table may be 1 million size, 1 million, 2 million. It is very huge table to 
uh, to put it into memory because you remember all these things have to be the primary memory. So, it is always preferred the LLR one, it is uh, really lesser in size and the SLR, simple LR is much more maybe 100 of this, but it, it sometimes it gives uh, uh, sometimes it gives some error. So, LLR is the best one and most programming languages is covered by LLR one. All, all programming languages can be covered in LLR one. So, we will we'll, we'll basically we have go to the LR parsing and SLR, LR, LR one which is LR one. LR1 is more complex, one table size is more complex, LLR, LLR is better. Yeah, if the state does not know where to till make the shift or reduction determinant is called, then the shift is if the answer is it there in the question itself and, and see this is the action, the shift, reduce, accept is the last stage and uh, maybe in any step it can go error. So, it, it does not have to go Remember, it does not have to traverse and say uh, accept or non accept. In say in FSM, you find that you you can always in the in, the, in any time you can go say I am not accepting. Same thing here. In uh, here, uh, anywhere in here, you can say I uh, error. Okay, so it can throw up the error person can throw up the error and you will get it the, where it can be. The compiler will print out the error. Uh, that this is a syntax error is coming. Uh, this is a line number, stack number. They they print it out. You have seen lot of these things. You know, I never run your Java or Python interpreter or C into C compiler. Yeah. Yes, this is very interesting. See, this is LL zero. LL zero actually uh, hardly use LL one. If LL one. Uh, is an important grammar, it is a top down grammar, its parsing table is very easy to build, but LR1 is always a superset, this is a LR1. Actually, the size is not actually, for maybe LL1 might be much smaller in size, this is not, that, but definitely LR1 is a bigger set and LL, LLK is a bigger set and again LRK is a much bigger set. So, it is always, LLR is smaller, but LLR can serve all the purpose, SLR is this, so most of the programming language is LLR and uh, it is it already mentioned that uh, what are the reasons, so this one is a question, most of you answered correctly. Most powerful person is canonical, this is the LR, basically I am telling you, canonical LR means LR1, okay. This is and you see the states of uh, all these things, the entries, this is the table, this is the states. Here, yeah, this is uh, what is the maximum number of re, uh, reduction, reduce proof that can be taken by bottom up parser? There is no if salad unit production. See, here the n tokens, uh, it cannot be 2n minus 1, I have told you, because uh, 2n 1 minus is equal back and forth, uh, 2n it is not, n by 2 is also not. For it. At the midway, you cannot say whether you accept it. So, most possible answer is n minus 1. If there is another entry, n is there, then you will be confused, uh, but n you do not have to have, you have to do one look ahead. So, n minus 1 is the correct answer. This is the explanation of LR of k, which is very important. This one, uh, you might order this for, in the top down parser, certain things will go along with your bottom up parsing, that is the first and follow calculation. Follow calculation is very important in uh, LR1 parsing because whenever there is a parsing error, the, from the follow character uh, it will go back which one is not error. So, this is how to calculate fast and follow. Uh, this is the S. Uh, so, this is S uh, first of is definitely you see first of this string is can be A, B, it is there. Here, first of A. So, this is very simple. I think you can uh, this fast and follow you should be. Yet on the compiler, this is a, a, a particular tool, all of the tool uh, like lexical analysis, we have a tool lex, uh, we will try, we should learn uh, this tool and YAC is another tool which can build this parsing table. The parsing table, the, uh, the that is the huge table, uh, the, the states are there, okay.
A bottom up parser is an explicit stack, it is the implementation. Means shift and reduce, I have shift, reduce, accept, error, I told you. Uh, parser operates shifting tokens onto the stack, correct? When a handle beta, I say all a handle in the top, but which one is a handle which is not handle, that is we have to study because any um, string in the which is matches any variable, it is not a handle. And one more thing, if uh, if it is if you can two handle then it will be if it's a grammar is unambiguous so you cannot prove ambiguity in here if a particular grammar is ambiguous then your handle that is right mode derivation uh, it, it is your handle will be always unique okay so if the grammar is unambiguous whenever you want to find a handle so that uh, you can see which can be uh, derived then it should be unique so that is your confusion and it should occur at the top of the stack it can consist of a terminals it can consist of variables also let's come yeah see here uh, this is a sentential form they have uh, used the production rule like if it's a right sentential form, handle the handle the right sentential form, a substring beta that matches our right hand side of a production. This the reduction of beta is stepped down, the reverse in the rightmost derivation. This is a, the, what is the handle? Then handle is the reduction of beta is a step along the reverse in rightmost derivation. So if it is not, if it is there, rule is there, but in rightmost derivation that is not used, then it is not a handle. Okay, but uh, how to choose a handle that is the strict of LR1, LLR1 and SLR1, SLR1 sometimes missed, LLR never missed generally and that is it. So, handle means it is the uh, step along, it, it, it handle must be used whenever you are deriving it in the right at the rightmost derivation, reverse in the rightmost direction. Okay. Well, I will clear it, we will make it a clear. So here say this is a, a stack, this is your string. So so first you shift, this is a, you, your first stack is empty and you see at the last your stack will be the E because your rule is starting symbol is E, uh, it is a bottom of parsing. So whenever is ID is here, your input pointer is here, you nothing to do, it has to shift. Now you ID this rule, you see is here. If this rule it makes it a f so that is first rule is shift and this is reduction okay and this is simple i have showed you this is a reduction then another uh, uh, this thing comes so this is uh, id f then this one the t t to again it goes to uh, from f to t this is another reduction okay this is by this rule first this to id to f then f to this rule. So, this way the shift and reduce after the last they see here here yeah, the last four steps are reduced. Definitely last few steps will be any successful parsing last step must be accept not reject and definitely this step will be at least one reduce or more reduce and and shift means it start from input here and it will end it here okay. It should consume all the strings and last is accept that is uh, but here uh, stack is uh, important very role and we will see it yeah it is a 1965 uh, donald luth has developed oh, I, this is the date uh, this is very important because it's a uh, much uh, better than ll1 because the ll1 you cannot have recursive left you have to uh, give you have to change your grammar rules uh, not to left recursive by left factoring uh, then also uh, we don't have to uh, do in lr1 parsing you don't have to left recursion is completely allowed so that is great yeah uh, lr parser uh, do not need that i have told you can handle left recursive address too because this grammar cannot be handled by LL1 because it is a left recursive because that is the answer. 
Yeah, LR parser traces the rightmost derivation in reverse. So, we will see it. Here, this example I have taken from our AHO, our, our AHO book. Uh, uh, this book, this is the uh, uh, say the rules, and this cannot be done by a LL1 because why this A is here, A is here. So, that is it is a left recursive. So, forget about LL1. So, interesting is the bottom of parsing, you see it here. So, these are the uh, string you have to match it. So, first we go see it here, do not uh, sometimes you you might feel that you, you strive from the right most, no, always uh, scanning, so that is the thing, scanning uh, name is LL1 and LR1, always from the left, ok, never from right, right, the LL1 with left most and left most derivation, right? this is his LR1 means left, from the left to right, right most derivation first. So, first it here, C it here, A, we found it there is no such rule we can match, ok, A is A. Now, we get C B, ok, now this is the, you can say handle, ok, it is the A in the stack and B is at the another top of the stack and there is from this B, you can get A. So, we replace A A, this is right now in the stack and now this Whenever B comes to it, we can say it is a handle. Okay, now A, then another B comes. You might say uh, that B comes, we can uh, do it another A. So this B is not a handle. So if we put it A, then uh, A double A, it cannot come to S. So here we should wait for this B and this C. This C, this B C then. ABC is there, then ABC is handle. This is another handle. So this this B is, is not handle, but whenever C comes, this ABC handle, then ABC becomes A. Okay, so this ABC becomes A. Now D becomes handle. So D becomes handle. D is changed to capital B. So this is now the, now this becomes handle. This becomes handle because this can be replaced by S. So this so this is not that simple because sometimes you take the uh, you take the steps like from b it goes to a and next time you do not take the rule so this is not very simple and this which one to be uh, done which was not to be done that is uh, dictated by our tab table and look up so it is not easy that and for you, it is for a, a, a dumb program cannot decide. It always look up and see what is to be done. So this is the intelligent step uh, than LL1. This is LR1. So whenever we are taking A, we forget it. This is the first is uh, a vertical bar, a dot is here. Then we come with here. A is a shift. Then when it comes a B, B is becomes handle because B is changed to A, that is it. Now, whenever next B comes, it shift, not go to A, because if it goes to A, but there is no backtracking. So, it is, you can say that I go to B and C, whether it is changing or not, it is not allowed, that, then it will be backtracking. Okay. So, it shift again C, then this ABC becomes handle. Uh, so, handle is a legal step. Uh, in the, if you go for derivation, the rightmost derivation, yes, last, uh, last but one, this way it comes. So, this must be a derivation, then it comes to A. Now, because uh, now the D becomes handle, D is changed to B. So, this is, uh, it should inspire that what to, how to take this decision. This is take decision by uh, parsing table and uh, not simple parsing tables like LL1. You have to uh, for at, at some time B is there in a certain state, this B is in a certain state, the state of a stack, that is very important. State of a stack is built into a stack and, and that is a, you need a, you need a complex program like, uh, like you need a, yeah, yet another compiler, compiler to generate this parsing table. Yes, consider this grammar, yes, the sentence can be recorded with the following steps, yes. So, this is, I have already shown, is, 
this is the way. So, uh, this reduction is a trace. So, what is handle is? Uh, formally handle is, I have taken from the opera group. A handle is the right sentential form of gamma in the production A to beta. A position of gamma where the string beta may be found and replaced by A to produce the previous right sentential form with rightmost derivation of gamma. If a grammar is ambiguous, this is very important. If a grammar is ambiguous, then every right sentential form of the grammar has exactly one and only one handle. That is great. So, finding the handle is important. If you can find the handle, you reduce the reduction by handle and handle should be found. There cannot be multiple handles. Handles, you have to find it. So, this is the formal definition of handle. Informally, handle of a String is a soft string that matches the right hand side of a production and the whole reduction to a non terminal to the left side side of the production presents the one step along the reverse of the rightmost derivation. That is important. Yes. Uh, 